Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you're new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you're back, as always, welcome back. Today, I am here with a sneak peek from Diamond Art Club. A huge thank you to the fabulous folks over at Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with you ahead of the weekend's new releases. So this kit, along with the other new releases for this week, will be released tomorrow, which is Saturday, March 26th. Yes, March 26th. Uh, the release will go live at 9 a.m. Pacific time for Diamond, Diamond and Ruby level rewards members. They'll have an early access window of about half an hour. And then at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, these releases will go live for the general public. Be sure to be checking your emails and your texts, set your alarms, just in case any of these kits are on your shopping list for the weekend. So what do I have to share with you all today? I have another gorgeous kit from Raven Phelan. This is Phoenix. Look at this. Can we just talk about how this kit is going to glow? I haven't even opened it yet and I know it's going to be so gorgeous. Uh, so this is gonna be a square drill diamond painting kit. Diamond Art Club does have some branding on their boxes that is specific to square drills versus round drills. The square drills are all blues and you know, squares. <laughs> on the back of the box, we have some info about how to diamond paint as well as some information about the kit contents. But instead of just telling you all about that, how about I show you? let's get into it. So how are you doing today? I hope you're having a really wonderful day so far and that you're looking forward to the weekend. I know I am. <laughs> let's get into the box and see what all the goodies are that we have in here. So toolkit, sticker, and all the rest of our kit contents. Okay, perfect. So we will get to this part last, but let's start with this toolkit. Now, yes, this is one of the newer upgraded toolkits. I always make sure to mention that um, Diamond Art Club is slowly implementing and integrating these newer toolkits. So you may or may not get this new one. You might get one of the older ones. They each are gonna have everything you need to do your diamond painting. They're just gonna have some slight differences. So in this particular toolkit, we have a basic pen and squishy. Uh, the colors will vary. You get a pair of tweezers. They may or may not be this pink ombre. They are pointy. Uh, they may also be just black, <laughs> probably with the branding though. Um, if you get a round drill diamond painting kit from Diamond Art Club, that will not come with tweezers. The tweezers only come with the square drill kits. We have a bag of baggies. You can use these for your leftover diamonds once you complete the kit or for kitting up purposes. We have a caddy that has a couple of plates of the pink heart wax. This is a really nice quality wax and it does have a film on the top. So make sure you peel that off so that you can actually get the wax in your pen. We have a couple of thin plastic multi-placers. I like the thin plate multi-placers a lot. And then we also have a clear tray. Now this is slightly different than some of the clear trays actually that I've seen coming in the newer toolkits. I actually like this one better. Uh, it's really, like really flat and really sturdy, but it still has that gold sparkle to it. I love it. And we still get a tray stopper. So no, this is not a misplaced piece of plastic. It's a stopper that you can, well, it doesn't totally want to fit there. You kind of wedge in there. And then if you know, you're working and you tilt your tray by accident, you're not gonna have to worry about drills falling out. Now these last two pieces, um, this is a cover minder and this is washi tape. Now these you may or may not get with your upgraded toolkits. And if you do get them, it's likely to vary wildly what kind of washi tape you're going to get and what kind of minder you're going to get. Now what a cover minder is, is something that has a couple of magnets on the back. And this makes working on your diamond painting a little bit easier if you're one that just likes to peel back the plastic to work on a section. Pop this magnet under the canvas, pull back the plastic on the top and then set this on top of the peeled back plastic and it'll hold the plastic cover back. Washi tape, I like to use this on the borders of my diamond paintings to cover up any excess poured glue that's gone past the edge of the drill field. Since it's not going to be covered up by diamonds, if it's covered up by washi tape, that means it's not gonna get like dust and dirt and stuff in it. I also like to use washi tape to section off my canvas into smaller sections to work on. That's just a personal preference. I'll link to a video that I have all about sectioning off your canvas with washi tape if you're curious about what that looks like. So like I said, that's our new uh, our new toolkit. Diamond Art Club is not yet marketing and advertising those toolkits. So again, consider it a nice surprise if your kit comes with one of those. 
Diamond Art Club also includes these small stickers with your kits. This is, um, like I said, it is a sticker. <laughs> I like to use this in my paper logbook for tracking purposes because I like that it has all the information about the kit itself. I know some people use this, they'll put it on the sides of their boxes so that they can sort through their stash more easily. And I'm sure you could find something else crafty to do with this if your heart desires, <laughs> but I like that they give us a little sticker that we can use for whatever works for us. Let's get into the rest of the kit contents. So we have a branded it's a plastic bag or a dust cover to give that extra layer of protection to our canvases. Ooh, okay, I'm excited. I just got a glimpse of those vibrant colors, you guys. This is, I just, I couldn't resist when I saw this one. It's going to glow, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, here, we'll go sideways. Okay, just for the moment. <laughs> so we have a big old bag of drills. Look at those colors. We'll get to those in just a bit, but there is the full painting and frame, albeit sideways. Here we go, if we wanna go a little more right side up. Again, the name of this piece is Phoenix, and I think you can probably see why. So let me go ahead and share with you what else has uh, been included in this kit. So we do have a booklet that's just, thank you for your purchase and has some info about what's included in your kit. It has a link to a video with some step-by-step -step instructions. You can scan that QR code. I'm very much a visual learner, so I definitely recommend checking out a video if you're new to diamond painting and want some tips. They also have a link and a QR code for their VIP Facebook group. I have found the VIP Facebook group to be an incredible resource. Diamond Art Club posts things like polls where we get to vote on potential future artwork for them to turn into diamond paintings. They often will share behind the scenes info and it's also just a really fun community where we can share what we're working on and see completed versions of different Diamond Art Club kits. It's just a great resource. I'll also link to it directly below. We have written out step-by-step -step instructions over here and then more tips and tricks as well as a discount code. Now, uh, I do like to also mention, oh, and a link to the app. <laughs> I like to also mention that if you are new to Diamond Art Club and would like to save 20% off of your first purchase, um, you are welcome to use my affiliate discount code because yes, I am a Diamond Art Club affiliate. I strive to give you really authentic and transparent opinions, honest opinions, um, even with companies that I have an affiliate relationship with. But like I said, if you're looking to make your first purchase and want to save 20% off, I do have a code that you can use. It's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. Um, and that's just for your first purchase. I'll also link to it down below. Now, I, in the interest of full disclosure, may make a small commission on any purchases using that code. So please don't feel obligated, like, at all. <laughs> the only thing I ever say is don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club. There are discount codes everywhere. The one I just showed you, there's one on the bottom of the canvas, there's one in the VIP group, there's one for your first purchase of the mobile app. Just, they don't want you to pay full price, so don't pay full price. <laughs> Here we have another sticker sheet. This whole thing is a sticker sheet. There's information about the artwork, including the artist, and a spot trait, your start and end date, if you like to track that. There's the original artwork. Square diamonds and 56 by 79 centimeters. And then over here, we have pre-cut stickers. So if you were like me and like to take your diamonds and kit them up into storage containers, uh, this makes that process go very quickly because they are pre-cut. The number over here, the color code, these are all the DMC color code, which is the same color code that they use for cross-stitch, like floss and some floss. Um, any numbers though in Diamond Art Club's numbering system, anything under 150, so these four numbers, are going to be a special kind of diamond called an AB. I'll touch more on that once we're actually looking at the diamonds, but I wanted to take just a moment as always to glance through and see if any of these symbols look really similar to one another and if I think we wanna make sure that we're not gonna mix them up. We do have, there's these three dots here and then the two dots here, both white on a dark background. I think those are probably gonna be distinct enough, but we'll take a look. And then we have this, you know, percentage sign and, you know, kind of these white symbols on a dark background. Diamond Art Club's printing is usually pretty clear, but you know me, I'm very thorough. I like to take a very close look when I can. So let me go ahead and take you on a little tour of the canvas and point out some of the fabulous things about it. So up here we have Diamond Art Club's branding. 
The edges of these canvases are scalloped and finished. I've never had to worry about fraying with my diamond art club canvases. The material on the canvas itself is really, really soft and almost pillowy on the back and is this magical combination of both being both sturdy and malleable. And what that means is that it's self flattening. I have not done anything to help it lay flat. It just has done that on its own, but it's sturdy enough that it's gonna hold diamonds really, really well once they're down. And it's just a lovely canvas to work on. Diamond Art Club also, they use a poured glue on their canvases that is also really amazing to work on. It's really kind of like squishy and springy and is really, really high quality. At the top left here, we have a legend. If you like to work off the legend on your canvas, we have that same legend down here at the bottom right. At the bottom left, we have the thumbnail as well as all the information about the artwork. And I always point out copyright. So Diamond Art Club does legally license all of the artwork that they use in their diamond paintings. That means that in the case of this painting, Raven Phelan, the artist, has both given permission for the use of their artwork by Diamond Art Club as a diamond painting. And they're also being fairly compensated by Diamond Art Club for the use of their artwork. So um, I really love to shout out and support companies that are doing right by artists and making sure that the artwork is legally licensed and not stolen. Here we have Diamond Art Club's social media info. I recommend following along with them on Facebook and or Instagram because that is where they preview the weekend's new releases or if there are any special midweek releases, that's where you'll find out about that first. And then here at the bottom right, info about Diamond Art Club's lifetime warranty. As long as you are the original purchaser of your kit, you are covered by that lifetime warranty. If you run into any issues with the glue not being sticky, for example, or the drill quality or running out of drills or diamonds, um, or issues with the canvas, anything at all, contact Diamond Art Club's customer service because under that guarantee, they will get you taken care of. <laughs> I recommend contacting Diamond Art Club either through email or through something like Facebook Messenger. I also think they have a chat feature on the website, so check that out and they'll get you taken care of. Let's take a look at the drill field together. I wanna see what we think of the symbol clarity. I mentioned that this is gonna be a square drill diamond painting kit. Um, and Diamond Art Club square drills are, their newer square drills are a tiny bit smaller than their older square drills. And so I think they've tightened up the grid just a little bit. I will confirm that when I go to measure this canvas to see if the dimensions are true to what they're printed on the canvas. Look at these rainbow butterflies. I love this. Now, this kit is very strongly reminding me of the effect that I, a kit that I completed that's also from Diamond Art Club and artist Raven Phelan. I completed it last fall called The Dragon's Door and it had a lot of these similar colors in the dragon and she glowed. She was so, so, so pretty, so incredibly pretty. And I feel like even the colors that I was seeing in the, the package of drills there, just that I got a quick glimpse at, um, those really, really looked like similar colors. So uh, there actually seems to be a a decent amount of color blocking in this piece. Like look at these huge chunks of yellow here in the middle. There's a little bit of confetti, which is where we have more color changes in areas like the Phoenix's face a little bit and maybe a little bit in the butterflies. It's kind of color blocked confetti, uh, but there's a lot of color blocking even in the corners as well. So I think that in a lot of ways, this kit is probably going to go relatively quickly because of that. Um, color blocking is when you have those large chunks like I just showed you where it's all the same color and so you can multi-place through that section. You'll have that same color in your tray for a little while. Um, typically, like I said, they just go faster. Let's do measurement and see if this one's going to prove my suspicions correct. So we're at exactly 78 centimeters. It's advertised as 79. And then we're at... 55 centimeters is advertised as 56. So this is, if you've watched any of my past, I think four sneak peeks, they've all been square drill canvases from Diamond Art Club, and they have all measured exactly one centimeter short in each direction. I am not concerned about this, to be honest with you, because you're still getting the same number of drills that you otherwise would have. I think that they have just 
tightened up the grid just a tiny bit because their new square drills are just a tiny bit smaller than their old ones. So they're just making sure that you're not gonna have a bunch of gapping. Um, I've completed one of the kits that's had these newer square drills on a slightly tighter grid. It was the Beekeeper, which I worked on a couple of weeks ago, and the drills did not pop at all, and I loved how they fit. I really, really love the change. So. I'm not upset about it. I'm gonna let them know just because I've been making sure to let them know like this is a consistent thing I'm seeing. Um, I'm sure they'll get it fixed. <laughs> but a lot of kits go into production quite a ways in advance, like months in advance. And so it may be a bit before we see, you know, that reflected on the canvases themselves. Okay, let's look at the diamonds. So there is a label on the diamonds. So if you like to store your canvas and diamonds separate from one another, you can match them up again quickly later. Oh my gosh yes these colors remind me so strongly of the dragon's door oh my gosh so pretty all right moment of silence for the pretty packing job <laughs> so i mentioned earlier about diamond art club having newer square diamonds they recently began manufacturing all of their square diamonds in-house you can tell the difference between the old and the new square drills yeah they're having this static lately i was hearing that they were poking holes in the bags to help prevent static but i'm not seeing that in these um more on the new square drills in just a moment. I just wanted to point out that if you run into static like this, where you can see that the drills are sticking uh, to the edges of the bags there, cut up a piece of dryer sheet and uh, cut off just like a little corner or just the edge of this, stuff the piece of dryer sheet in there, fold over the top of the, the area of the bag you've cut and just shake it around a little bit, move the dryer sheet around and it will get rid of the static for you. It works like a charm. Uh, we have one, two, three, four five bags of 741 and then one, two, three, four, five bags of 740. Those two colors being so close together, that's gonna have really pretty blending, I'm sure. Uh, three bags of 550, a really pretty royal purple. A couple of bags of 814 and a little straggler bag of 598, this blue. Tiny handful of that one, I bet. Anyway, I was talking about Diamond Art Club's newer square drills. Uh, you can tell the difference because the newer square diamonds all have 13 facets on the top. The old ones have a mix of nine and 13 facets on the top for the squares. Here we go, 129. This is our first AB drill. Take a look here at that special, amazing sparkly iridescent coating on the tops of these. It's giving it like a really sparkly color shift. Uh, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's a special kind of drill named after the Northern Lights for the overall effect that they give. The areas that this has been charted, it's gonna sparkle even more. It's gonna feel like that's where the light's catching. It's gonna highlight those areas and it can just really enhance a painting beautifully. One, two, three, four bags of 742. If you like the color orange, <laughs> this kit, is gonna be right up your alley. Two bags of 666, a kind of real cherry red. 150, 498, other shades of red. We have some blues here. Oh, this is gonna be so pretty. All these royal colors and glowy colors. More blues and reds. Here we go. 141, our second AB. This is a white AB. This is, I jokingly refer to it as Diamond Art Club's favorite AB, though they have been branching out lately and having a lot of different ABs. Look at that iridescent coating on these, so pretty. All right, lots of these royal colors. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I will be sure to point out, by the way, where these AB diamonds are going to go once we get through all these all these drills together. These are the bags of smaller bits of drills. Now, for the most part, I see this asked a lot. Actually, I've seen it asked a lot lately. Diamond Art Club puts their drills, they package them like in a strand in order of weight. So how many of the various drills there are. Here's our third AB 124. This is... It's more of a pale pink. It almost wants to shift a lavender, but it's a pale pink. Just that tiniest handful of these. Do you think that's in the butterfly maybe? And then these. And then we have one more little strand over here with some stragglers. Yeah, they're mostly in order of weight. And then there'll be like a random straggler pack with just a tiny handful. But um, here we go, a nice big bag of 114. That is a cherry red with like a hint of orange to it. That is gonna be perfect for this kit. I love it. I love it. Look at that. 
Oh my gosh. So let's take a look together at where those ABs are gonna go. So we have the four of them. Looks like maybe there's a bag slightly open. We'll start at the bottom. Uh, it looks like we're gonna have the white AB doing lots of highlighting here, the hottest part of the flame. Uh, there's a bit of the pale yellow AB here at the bottom, again, doing some like outlining and highlighting. The red, that cherry red AB, is that gonna go? Yes, okay, that cherry red AB that we just looked at, it is gonna go, it outlines the entire phoenix, this entire like emblem. There's like a row of anywhere from like two to five red ABs that just goes all around the entire thing. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so pretty. I love it. Um, in the middle of some of these little like stars, here is that, uh, that kind of pink AB that's almost lavender dotted in the middle of like this little bubble <laughs> and then one or two just sprinkled in here. The white AB is in the middle of a couple of these as well. And the same thing over here with the white and a little bit of the pale yellow. So it's like the stars. It's gonna give like kind of a glimmer effect to those stars. Uh, the butterflies, this butterfly is outlined in pale yellow ABs and a little bit of white here. Uh, these two butterflies on the sides are each outlined in pale yellow ABs and a little splash of the white AB wherever you're seeing that bright white. Virtually anywhere you're seeing white in this canvas, um, it's either the white AB because there's not a plain white drill in this kit. It's either the white AB or it's actually the pale yellow AB, but it just looks white in the camera. <laughs> uh, here in the middle, white ABs and a little bit of the pale yellow AB here in the heart of that lotus. That pale pink, we've got three of those diamonds right here. Some of the pale yellow on the outline of the heart and a little bit sprinkled of both the pale yellow and the white AB in the Phoenix's claws and the top of the heart and this middle part. It's really, it's everywhere. So <laughs> I'm sure I'm not gonna be able to point out every single, every single little place that we have those ABs. But again, anywhere you're seeing white or pale, pale yellow, outlining the phoenix's head, the phoenix's beak, we have some ABs, middle of the phoenix's eyes, again, highlighting the flames of this phoenix's head, pale yellow and or white ABs all throughout, including going up here. And just as a reminder, don't forget, don't forget, red ABs continuing outlining. That's going to make this feel like it's glowing. Oh, love it. Love it. There's an occasional sprinkling of red ABs, by the way, in some of the Phoenix here. There's a like a little sprinkling of them here and here and a tiny bit up here as well. A little strand right here. As we keep going up, the eyeball up here is uh, pale yellow ABs and white ABs respectively. Bits of pale yellow here in the brightest parts of the Phoenix's feathers and wings some of those parts, and then all the way up to the tips of the phoenix's wings, that pale yellow AB and some of the white as well. And then the stars that we have in the sky, same deal. Some of these are the white AB, some are the pale, la well, yeah, the pale pink or pale lavender, and some are the pale yellow sprinkled in the in the top here this is phoenix from raven phelan i love what i am seeing this looks so stunning like oh my gosh and like i said i just know that these colors blended together that this is going to glow like almost literally glow at you off the page especially with all of those AB diamonds in there. This looks amazing. I'm a huge fan of how Diamond Art Club renders Raven Phelan's artwork. So I'm definitely going to recommend that if this appeals to you, if this art style appeals to you, jump on this kit. You will not regret it. I am sure that it's going to be absolutely stellar when it's complete. Just to give you a really quick recap. So this kit, along with the other new releases this week, are going to go live and be released tomorrow, which is Saturday, March 26th at 9 a.m. Pacific time for Ruby and Diamond Level Rewards members, then half an hour later at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time for the general release. As of the time of this filming, I do not know if this kit is going to be limited edition or not. I will leave a note down below in the description box. Please take a look. If a kit is noted as limited edition, that means that 
Diamond Art Club is only planning to do this single run of the kit, and then once it sells out, it will not be restocked. So if any of the kits this weekend are noted as limited edition and you don't want to miss out on them, be sure to have your alarm set and be ready to check out with those fast fingers just so just in case so you don't miss out. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful, my friends. Please let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this helped you make a decision on if this is on your shopping list for the weekend or on your wish list for the future. Uh, let me know though if there's anything I can do to help or any questions I can answer. Thanks again to Diamond Art Club for sending us over and thank you to you guys for watching. If you're not already subscribed and wanna see lots more diamond painting content from me, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I share new videos. And um, let me know, like I said, if you have any questions below. Thanks again, my friends. I hope you have a really, really wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.